we would like our pilots to get back alive and to be able to use our aircraft many times. And that is why electronic warfare is key. We're probably one of the most advanced electronic warfare systems for self-protection on board the Gripper. A number of different sensors detecting incoming hostile missiles, whether they be radar-guided or, or infrared uh, heat-guided missiles. And we have dispenser systems to mislead these uh, incoming missiles and make sure they are not uh, hitting our aircraft. We have a spherical coverage, 360 degrees all around the aircraft. And on top of the set protection, nowadays we tend to use more and more electronic warfare systems for active situations, jamming, disturbing our opponent. And that electronic attack type of capability is something that is part of our integrated onboard electronic warfare system. On top of all this, I would like to give you some further insights into an extensive electronic warfare offering that we have for the HX program. We are continuously broadening our portfolio and making advancements within electronic warfare, the key area for SAW. And breaking news for you today here is that within the HX offering, we have on top of the onboard system, helping out in this situation to handle the threat situation with advanced hostile air defense systems. Also, a new lightweight air-launched decoy missile system, a new product that we are launching. And we started up the activities a number of years back. Today is the first time we are openly speaking about this. This is a system that uh, will help to suppress the hostile air defense systems and uh, preventing them to detect our own aircraft. Virtually what is happening is that uh, these uh, decoy missiles are launched from Gripen and in a formal position they are actively jamming and disturbing the opponent, making a corridor for safe operations both for our aircraft and for our missiles. This technology is leveraging uh, on the steps taken, for instance, within the uh, miniaturization within telecommunication industry. And I am happy to say that, uh, to a very large extent, the electronic warfare payload, meaning the electronics inside the decoy missile, is developed here in Finland at the very center, the technology center in Tampere, you heard about before. And here we are combining uh, the knowledge long term within Sweden and Finland in microwave electronics. The ladder can also be used uh, to direct uh, the attention of the enemy to somewhere else and acting as false targets. <coughs> On top of this, in the package, we have also included uh, the electronic attack jammer pod that we officially launched in 2017 and uh, we are now in the flight test phase and initiated that last year. And this is yet another uh, addition on top of the onboard system. It works to create this type of corridor, additional output power, as well as a broader frequency range. And uh, in uh, cooperation with the advanced electronic warfare system on board, uh, we're able to integrate uh, all these three elements into a holistic and extremely powerful electronic warfare system for electronic attack and we think this is key to the operational situation in Finland.